I think we need to talk about Winnie the Pooh. So, for those of you that don't know, Winnie the Pooh entered the public domain a couple years ago, which basically means anyone can now make stuff that involves Winnie the Pooh without getting slammed and copyright struck by Disney. Uh, the, the first things we saw emerge from this were the Winnie the Pooh horror films, Blood and Honey, and then I think there was even a second one, which I didn't really hear anything about, but I don't think the first one was great. And then that's kind of all we'd heard about Winnie the Pooh being made by people that weren't Disney. Until now. I think I should clear up quickly, though. I know there's been a bit of confusion with public domain. Basically, Disney can still and are still making Winnie the Pooh stuff. I mean, Playdate with Winnie the Pooh uh, was announced and might already be out. And it, it looks awful, to be honest. I mean, they don't have their signature voices now. Uh, they just sound generic American children voice. And that's obviously awful uh, and the animation sounds very strange but they're not the only people that have made a new winnie the pooh series amazon have come out with a new announcement of a winnie the pooh series originally i was really excited about this to see a non-horror piece of media about winnie the pooh from someone that wasn't disney i mean that's an exciting concept right like the only stuff we've had big and out there since Winnie the Pooh has been in public domain is the horror films. I want to see some more classic Winnie the Pooh stuff, and that's what this sounded like. And then I started reading the article that was talking about it. This is already a bit strange, so I thought I read originally there was just going to be one holiday special. That is what I had read. It now seems that there will be an animated holiday movie five holiday specials, and 104 episodes of the series. How and why have they already ordered over 100 episodes of this series without it even going out? That's mental. That's brave. But fair play. And I saw the designs of the characters. I'll put them here. We've got Winnie the Pooh, Piglet, Tigger, and Eeyore. Now, I loved these. I saw these on Twitter, or X, so who gives a who cares. I saw these on X and I thought, these are really cool. I love the like yarn string design of them. I think considering in the original, they are meant to be the, the soft toys of Christopher Robin. I think this, this looks really cool. The idea that they're made of string, I really liked. And I was fully on board with that. So I, I had high hopes. I thought this could, could be really good. I read this quote. From the chairman and CEO of Cartoon Studios, which is the company producing this show, Andy Haywood. Uh, basically, the whole quote was talking about how he wants to really cash in, basically, on the massive success and iconicness of the Winnie the Pooh characters. And I thought, yeah, that's fair enough. Cool. And then I read, production efficiency by harnessing AI. Pardon? I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. And then later in the article, I read how AI had been used, as well as humans, to design these characters. Now, that's not as worrying as I first thought. If that is all, if all that AI has been used for here is to design the characters, still not great. But fine. Like, if these are the first drafts, right, and they've gone, typed into AI, create me uh, Winnie the Pooh made a string. Bam. Cool. And then if they say they didn't even get that, maybe they maybe they got an image and then refined it to get this with human design. They got the original picture, tweaked it, and got this. That's still questionable, but fine. I mean, if that, that's still result of human... You just changed up AI, sure, fine. You do you at the end of the day. If AI has been used as a tool to animate or to come up with the stories or anything like that, the voice oh god forbid, the voices, then I'm gonna be I'm gonna be worried. I really am going to be worried because we've all seen the AI stuff on TikTok and how weirdly good it's getting at everything. Let's not use it to create animated series based on beloved characters like Winnie the Pooh. 
Having said that, they have also said that the series will follow storylines from the book, uh, from the books, as well as new ones. If those new ones are AI, then I, I just I don't know what the point is anymore in creativity. Something I am excited for, though, and this is obviously assuming they don't use AI for the um for the for the voices. I'm excited to hear the voices because obviously we're used to the main cast's voice, uh, the Jim Cummings, Winnie the Pooh, the sort of back here, the Tigger, the Eeyore, uh, the Pig. We we're used to those four voices, and so I'm I am excited to see where we go with that. I was actually talking to a mate of mine that uh, we want to work on like a Winnie the Pooh audio series, and we were talking about how how do you change the voices after it's so iconic. How do you find a new voice for these characters? That I'm curious about, but then I am worried it might be AI, and in which case, I, I, I might cry. 